All right, so um, a couple weeks ago, I bought some LED bulbs for this. I followed a video online which told you to pry around the edges here to get it apart, and uh, that was wrong. Uh, I ended up breaking some tabs up in here. I did replace this unit. Probably didn't need to, but um, I did it anyway, so I wanted to make a video and show you the process that I took for replacing these and uh, a, a much better way to do it, in my opinion. Um, so the tools you're gonna need are some gloves, uh, and I'll explain why in a few minutes, a eight millimeter um, bit and a plastic pry tool. Um, I'm gonna use this one because I don't have the other tool with me. You really want one that comes with an electronic kit that looks like a guitar pick. That's gonna be the easiest way, but I'm gonna make this work for me. Um, so if you're watching videos online, do not pry around this to get this down. Absolutely do not. The way we're gonna approach this is we're gonna take these two lenses out, take the bulb out, put the new one in. However, there's a reflector in here that's chrome plated that once you get fingerprints on it, you can't get it off um, and it chips very easily. So I'm gonna put my gloves on and start the process. Okay, so you can see up here, I'm gonna stick a flashlight up here just for a minute so you can see. There is the eight millimeter bolt on each side, there on the other side. There are also two clips. This is how you release this from the top. Don't pry on the outside. When you release these clips or little buttons, the whole thing will come down But after you take the bolts out. So I'm gonna take the bolts out first. All right, bolts are out. Now all you have to do is push in the button on the clip on each side and it should just pop down. You can sort of feel it up here. Once you see if I can get a light up there so you can actually see it go. Once you find the clip, sort of give it a little little tug, and the whole thing just comes right down. Um, that is the piece that the clip is holding on to. That's the clip itself. So, and that's how you get this piece down. You don't need a pry tool for this at all. Um, next thing is you're gonna unplug both of these. Um, I'm gonna do that now, and then I'll show you the next step. All right, so we have it out. These are the back side of the lights, and the metal contacts are very flimsy. This is why you wanna pull it out. Um, anytime you're plugging in a, a lamp or pulling one out, you need to support this from the back. Um, to get these lamps out, you really need to use something smaller than what I am. You need to use that guitar pick style uh, pry tool, and you just work your way around the edges and it pops right up. Okay, so I got one side under. I'm just gonna work my way around and pop it up. Okay, so once you get that off of there, this is that metal that I was talking about. Once you get fingerprints on this, you cannot get it off. When you take the plastic out, this piece will actually fall out. Um, so I say use gloves because you're going to have to assemble the whole thing back together. Now, once you have this out, use a small like screwdriver, or I'm not actually going to take mine out, but use a small plastic pry tool, something to push the old light out, not on the metal, push the light itself out. When you put the new one in, you can see I already have it in there. You drop it in there, use your finger to support the back metal piece, again, wearing gloves, and make sure electric's disconnected. And as you're supporting that, you can use another hand to push the bulb into place. When you're done, reassemble the whole thing in reverse. That's back. I'm gonna go plug my wires in. You can see the wires are plugged in. When you put it back up, there's actually two clips at the top that came down, uh, but you can hear it all pop back into place. Before I screw it in, I like to test to make sure all my buttons work. Light, light, and you can see it's much, much brighter 
put your screws back up there and you're done. Mm -hmm.